What's going on, guys? Welcome back to box opening number three here on uh, franklinport.youtube.net. And uh, we just mentioned that this box has a big old bump in the corner. I'm really hoping that, that corner is not damaged. I'm going to have to find out. We're going to go to that corner first. I'm going to take out like the, the, three, the three packs from that corner and see if they have any... Uh, See if they have any damaging qualities. Right now we're opening Magic 2019 packs. This is box number three. I'm not opening, I'm not showing the commons or the tokens or anything like that. This pack looks to be fine. So number three in the in the stack was fine. So one, two, three, four, and commons. I'm just gonna show these. Oh, it's a it's a terrible rare. I'm sorry, I messed it up for everybody. All right, we got an old gas bark here, and then we got either shield artificer, either shield artificer, and a switcheroo. Not super exciting. One not a damage, ten, ten not a damage box bucks, bucks bits. Boy, we're we're a hot mess. It's a hungering hydra. It's not exciting, but what can you do? Not everything can be a Nicobolus, guys. You just need to get it through your heads, okay? And this pack also looks okay, thankfully. This is number two, I believe. And what do we got here? Does anyone care about 36 hour primed? Uh I always found that the odds of me finding something I really need on Prime Day is so low. Like, the, the whole thing about Prime is that it incentivizes you to get what you want when you want, right? Like, hey, I want this thing. I might as well get it now. I'll just get it in two days. That's super appealing. So you just get everything you want. Like, regularly when you have Amazon Prime, I think. So, like, whenever I go to Prime, whenever it's Prime Day, I'm just like, yeah, you have nothing I need. I just I bought this a week ago. I bought this last month. Whatever. Anyway. Cryptic Command, Grave Digger, and a Dryad Green Seeker. And a sigh. Legendary gentleman. Alright, this is the pack closest to the to the fall. And uh no, it looks fine. Looks totally unscathed. Which is nice. I appreciate it when my cards are not messed up. Rexage. Bookcase and Aerial Engineer. And a Demanding Dragon. I demand to not open this card anymore. That's what I'm doing. Come and knock on our door. Nickel Bowl is for you. Nope. Oh, foil. That's always cool. And we got a Aether Tunnel. A Psychic symbiont and it looks like a burglar again an old bur bugly burglar militia burglar what's he stealing i don't know foil Sav salvager of secrets beautiful rare sarkon's unsealing which is seeing play as a four of in a red green deck so that's kind of fun well, that's a good day. I'm having fun. That's a fun. Look at the fun we're having. Uh, where the burgers are hers and hers and his. And we got Gift Millstone. And uh, actually, let me see if this. I wonder if the. I wonder if the lights. I wonder if the uh, the cards show better with the the, the light off. Alexa, stream light off. Mm, not really. This is pretty. This is pretty rough, right? I mean, it's a little less because there's no glare, but I mean, it's still it's darker. Alexa, stream light on. Sun cleanser. Meh. Not super exciting. One, two, three, four, and an uncommon. All right, another foil. Every foil I get excited about because I'm like, this is another chance to open a, open a Planeswalker foil. 
I eh, probably do need another camera. I could see getting another camera for that. I do have a second webcam. <laughs> oh, we got Reliquary, Reliquary Tower, Blessed Blood Divination, and a Horizon Scholar. Foil Regal Blood Lord. Even more Regal and Foil. Followed by a Dark Dweller Oracle. That's not exciting. I want it to be. It's not. Why do I have the Three's Company song stuck in my head? Was there a reason for that? Do you guys know? Coming, knocking on you. Dragon Egg, Rogue's Gloves, and a Lightning Strike. Followed by... It's your boy, Kitty Cat Man. That's pretty cool. The old Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. How topical. That is your boy. The error pages for Amazon all have cuties on them, so that's pretty good. How <laughs> topical! <laughs> oh, fantastic. Glad we got a laugh out of that one. We got a novice knight, a psychic symbiont, and a mirror image. Yeah. Do you ever you guys have ever have cards that you wish were better, like more playable? Like I look at a card like uh Psychic Symbiont, and I'm like, I like everything this card does. I just know outside of the times I draft it, it will I will never cast this card, you know? If this was four mana, would it be playable? A 3-3 three, three for four mana flying makes them discard a card and you draw a card. That seems playable, right? Like, is that playable? Let me know in the comments if you guys are watching on YouTube. And the rare is Mystic Archaeologist, which I like a lot and I think can definitely see play in the control sideboards. Because 3-3 three, three Flyers in Standard are not super aggressive, but, I mean, when you have that kind of ability tacked onto it. Like, you play Muldrifter for 5, right? So... Oh, man, getting that guy back with Scarab God? That's gas. Like, 4... All right, what do we got here? Gear per guide, a fiery finish, and a Skyrider patrol. All right. Oh, Isareth the Awakener. Three through for four, for three through three. Whenever Isareth the Awakener attacks, you may pay X when you do return target creature card from your graveyard with X with a corpse counter. Eh, if that creature would leave the battle, I'm going to exile instead of, yeah, okay. I got it. Why don't you zoom? Can you focus here? Okay. We did it. So one mythic so far, and it was a good one. Gear per guide, Skyrider Patrol, and Gutter Snipe. Okay. Gutter Snipe, regularly playable, so that's pretty cool. It's your other boy. It's your two boys. Wow, this box has been gassed too. Got the double mythic, double two mythics so far. They are two solid boys. Two beautiful boys. Look at them. Look at their beautiful boyness. Can you focus? God damn. All right, anyway, you get it. You get it. You get it. And we still got... That's only two of our Mythics. Let's just open five Mythics in this box. Let's go for six. We haven't had a six Mythic box yet. Let's do it. I'm in. Are you guys Are you guys down to clown? Until you're dead in the ground? What do you got? Shield Mare, Reassembling Skeleton, and Aerial Engineer. Okay. We, we messed up. We did get a mythic, but it's an apex of power, so. QQ. I has a sadness. 
Ain't nobody got time for that. Boop, boop. Two, three, four. All right. Millstone, Novice Knight, and a Mirror Image. Okay. Followed by a Demon of Catastrophes with the good art. I'm going to give you this good art. You guys are going to like it. Look at that. That art is great, dude. Mm. The artist is Siddharth Chaturvedi. Siddharth Chaturvedi. I, that has to, he has to be Italian. Oh yeah, 100% Italian. Right? Oh, it says meat magic. Oh, this is 2016, so they, he's done other stuff. It's gotta be Italian, right? I can't tell. I'll figure it out later. We'll figure it out later. That's... Becky with the good heart. <laughs> oh, fantastic, dude. This is our first... Wow. All right. This is our first Avatar token. Brit Mod, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to... Come on. We can do it. Come on. Bear with me. This is our first Avatar token. Two, three, four. Nope. Okay. Colossal Dread Maw. Ready? Uh, double cast, Volcanic Dragon, and a Declared Dominance, your favorite and mine. And a Dragon's Horde. Okay. Yeah, Siddharth actually does sound like a, uh, that is an Indian name, I would imagine. So I guess we're we're at an impasse here as far as nationality goes. I was on it. I was on their website. Um, I will look at the about page. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Uh, I think it might just be what. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I think they're just American. Yeah, they're just American. Academy of Art University. At Academy of Art University. Where is that? University of Miami in 2008. So, okay. Still a fan of his work now. Currently a fan of his work. Meteor Golem Recollect and a Diagraph Ghoul. Okay. Ox Wand. Like you do. Like you do. Just a lot of packs in this box left. I think we have most of them still, which is pretty good because we've done well so far. One, two, three, four. No foil here. Got a little, get a little speed going here. Whoosh. Rupture, rupture spire, Agus of the heavens, and a sift. Followed by infernal reckoning, which I think is a pretty versatile card. Uh, I read about this card too. Uh, it's one mana for exile target colorless creature. You gain life equal to its power. Exiling like a thought not seer or God anything really. Any colorless creature. Walking Ballista. I guess you're not gaining life, but I mean, for one mana, being able to do it is still pretty good. Two, three, four. I'm still upset about no no Nicol Boluses, uh still. Like, if I don't see them. Even though I have one, I need three more. I don't know if you guys know how sets work. Uh, Thirst, Seismic Rift, and another Declared Dominance. Followed by... Vivian's Invocation. Okay. I'll allow it. Two, three, four. No foil. Two, 
we got here murder i like another murder see that's such a weird thing to just say i like another murder anyway colossal majesty and uh skilled animator and an isolate isolate and infernal reckoning were the two cards that i put together on my my patreon pages top eight favorite cards uh because they're both one mana instance and they both exile a thing they're both narrow, right? This only exiles a permanent that costs one or less. Or just one, actually. And this only exiles colorless creatures. But for one mana, they're both pretty reasonable. Oh boy, am I happy to see my second murderer. How many murderers did we do we have so far? Three murders? Woo! And that's how he got on the FBI watch list. I wish he didn't have so many murders. Actually, when you say that, it's probably it's probably safe because it's, you know, it's not you. You're not committing them. Urza's Academy Rector, Arcan Encyclopedia. That's I don't know what I said the first time. Vine Mare and a Satyr Enchanter. Gin of Doodoo's and a Foil Meandering River to match our other Meandering Rivers that we've been hoarding so far. Aether Shield Artificer, a Thud, and a Gargoyle Sentinel. Hopefully you guys are not having a terrible time reading these cards. Hopefully you guys are just like, oh, I know what that card is already. Uh, Banefire. You'll get caught up in the Banefire. All right, it's that time again where we take all the cards out of the box. Packs out of the box. Come on, flippy card. Be there. Oh, foil, though. I do like a good foil. Good foil to a murder, am I right? Arcane Encyclopedia, Herald of Faith, and a Reassembling Skeleton. Graveyard Marshal. What's this guy go for? I don't actually know. And an Elvish Rejuvenator foil. Otherwise known as Wood Elves 2.0. That was a whole different era. You ain't wrong. We got a Sift, a Diamond Mare, and a Knightly Valor. And a Patient Rebuilding. I actually like this card a lot. I don't know if it's good enough for Constructed. Uh, for five mana, at the beginning of, of your upkeep, target opponent puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Then you draw a card for each land. So I think at most, or at minimum, you're drawing an extra one card per turn, I think pretty regularly. And at most, you're drawing three extra cards per turn. Which is a lot. I don't know. It's an interesting card. This stream does need more Vine Mares. You are right, Rob Gerardio. That's a name I just made up off the top of my head. In order to not use his real name. What do we got here? Lightning Mare, Vampire Sovereign, and an Enigma Drake. That's cool. Dragon's Horde number dose. No one cares about that. That's not my name. Prove it. Prove it's not your name. Oh. Vivian Reed Emblem. Maybe it's a sign. It hasn't been a sign yet. If this is a three Planeswalker box, though, that'd be sick. Are we at... No, we're at three. We're at three Mythics because we got the Apex of Power, right? Yeah. Apex, Tezzeret, and Ajani. That's pretty good. That's the best box yet. We got a Psychic Corrosion Arise and Ajani's Pride Mate. And a Mist Caller. More like a Shit Caller, am I right? I set it low. Like, as if you guys couldn't hear it, but you could still hear it, so what's the problem? Why would I say it low? Just say it. Just own it, you know? And Viv's emblem is Mary Target Uncle Phil! Also, if you... Yeah, also, and Viv flips into a different actress if you fulfill a certain criteria. So... Oh, 
Uh, you got Shield Mare, Vigilant Bailoth, and a Horizon Scholar. Not bad. Yeah, Miss Caller until the end of the turn if a non-token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it instead. That's pretty good. That's a uh, collected company foil right there. It's also a Merfolk Wizard. No, for Christ's sakes. Prodigious, prodigious Growth. Uh, six mana for plus seven, plus seven, and Trample. I wrote the software that runs the robots that collate MTG... What? Oh, the emblem isn't a sign. <laughs> well, dang it. And of course, I think we figured that out by now, but it's always, uh, it's always fun to, to pretend. Use your imagination, kids. Oh, another supplier, a gift to paradise, and a regal blood lord. Oh, for a second, it snapped into focus real quick. It was like, whoosh, whoosh. It, and then, then never again. Crucible Worlds? What's this guy go for again? I don't actually know. So now we have Crucible, Apex of Power, and then two Planeswalkers. This pack was good. I'm a fan. And we still have this many packs left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 11 packs left. A third of the box. But y'all can still blame me if you open a bit crappy. Solar Stellar, glad to hear it, buddy. I will, uh, I'll take you up on being, on you being the martyr. Tenth edition is 46, fifth edition is 47. MTG bot, get it together. I should just be on like. Crucible M19. Let's see how that works. Hey, 20 bucks. Sure. Only 20. I think that's still fine. That is still more than reasonable. I accept. Uh, yeah, I think it's also a, definitely a card that's gonna gonna go up in value. Hey, I got a Ravenous Harpy, a Fell Spectre, and a Vigilant Bailoth here. Followed by another Liliana's Contract. You win the game if you have multiple demons. Josh, thank you so much for the for the gifted sub to our, our bot programming friend. Oh. Oh. I'm going to have to take a break after this real quick. In case you guys, hope you guys don't mind. Oh, another foil. Nice. One, two, three. Got a Surge Mare, a Brawl Bash Ogre, and an Ajani's Welcome. Supreme Phantom. Two out of four. Almost got a place out of that bad boy. Followed by a Foil Recollect. Okay. I feel like we're due at least one more Mythic, but that's just because I want it. Not because I feel like it's uh, such millennial entitlement. You think you're owed mythics? Back in my day, we had to open planeswalkers with the regular rares in the set. Buddy, that was me too. Skilled animator, phantom tip archer, and plague mare. No dismissive pyromancer. Okay. I accept. What up, K Flix? I'm still waiting for that. Oh, hold on. Nailed it. Just kidding. That's not really nailing it, unfortunately. Unless this one's another Tesseret or something. Uh, Lena and Vanguard departed deck, Deckhand and a Knightly Valor, followed by another Windreader Sphinx. I think this was rare, a Mythic at one point, wasn't it? Windreader? Let's check it out. Yep, it was Mythic in M14. How the mighty have fallen. Yeah, I don't do backdrops when I just do live videos like this. You guys are welcome into my my home. You guys can come come on in. Into me, into me den. Me dental area. Whoopsh. Sleep, ghost bark, gas bark twin, and a rogue's gloves. Bracers, rogue's bracers, rogue's gloves. We'll get it. Spit flame. That's three out of four. It also kills Heart of Kieran. No, it, yes it does. Yeah, four, four damage. Four damage is, is good. Wow, only three Nicobolas and one is an ugly foil promo. That's... Boy, if only you could trade that foil promo to someone who wants it for two Nicobolases. What a, what a sad state of affairs. 
One Thud, one Draconic Disciple, and one Ravenous Harpy. Followed by, ooh, a Foil Leonin War Leader. Beautiful. And a Magistrate's Scepter. Four mana to tap it, put a time, put a, put a charge counter on it, remove three charge counters, take an extra turn after this. This card actually seems sweet because you can proliferate it. And then you can just probably go ham and take a million turns. It's basically like a fixed uh, time vault, and by fixed I mean like seriously fixed. Reprint? What's a reprint? Is Scepter a reprint? I don't know what you're saying right now. Oh, it is a, oh, it was in Mercadian Masks. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I never knew that was a reprint. I never knew, he said, about the set that's been out for two weeks now. What do we got here? Blanchard Armor, a bookcase, and an Exclusion Mage. A little Arcade's Sabbath. Arcade's the Strategist. Hmm. Huh. All right, so that is five mythics. Um. So here's something I'm gonna look up right now. Let's go advanced elder dragon. So here's something interesting. Arcade Sabbath is his name, but on the card it only says Arcades the Strategist. Uh, on. Nicobolus, it says Nicobolus. On Palladium Wars, it says Palladium Wars. On Vevictus Asmati, it says Vevictus Asmati the Dyer. Arcade Sabbath is the only one that doesn't say its full name. It just says Arcades. Which only I which I only bring up because I feel like it's just a space issue. The only reason they didn't put Arcade Sabbath is because it doesn't have enough space. Which is interesting to me. It's interesting when you choose uh Things to name your cards based on your physical space on the card. Does that make sense? One, two, three, four. Oh, another, another foil, which is nice. I'm excited. We got Inferno Hellion, a Johnny's Pride Man, and a Sleep. Okay, okay. Another Lena. And a foil Epicure of Blood. EpiPen of Blood. Make sure you guys have that with you when you have your allergic reactions. <laughs> because it would be easy and not, not at all time consuming. You should edit this video for YouTube so that every pack you open makes the MTG Draft Pack opening sound. That would be amazing. And uh, I'm not going to do it. Oh, you got a little Fountain of Renewal, a Leonin Vanguard, and a Gutter Snipe. All right. Another Remorseful Cleric. Very playable card. Sacrifice it, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. Pen Pineapple Epi Pen. All right, this is the last pack, guys. Is it going to be a five mythic box or a six mythic box? Let's find out. Actually, we do have five, right? We have arcades. Um. Apex of Power, Crucible, Ajani, and Tezzeret. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, got a foil in the last pack at least. That could be anything, even a boat. Got Poison Tip Archer, Volley Veteran, and Siege Breaker Giant for our uncommons. Ajani's Last Stand, so not a Mythic, unfortunately. Followed by a Foil Sleep. All in all, though, not a bad box. I'm okay with it. We got a Tezzeret and a Ajani in it, so how are you going to complain? And now we put all these cards back. Thank you guys so much for watching another box opening here on YouTube. Oh, actually, oh my god, I lied to you guys. There is one more pack left in this box. Wow. Hold on. We're not, we're not done yet. Well, it's not a Nicol Bolas, so the suspense is over. I'd be sick if it was just Nicol Bolas. Another foil, though. All right. Vine Mare, Diamond Mare, and a Colossal Majesty are the uncommons here. Surprise pack! And a foil lava axe. 
as I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great. As usual, slam those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. The links are in the description. And I'll have some more box openings for you coming up soon. Hope you guys enjoyed.